Hey everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to The Loft. Now today I wanted to take a little bit of time just to go over how we can work out the dividend yield of a particular portfolio rather than just take an educated guess for roughly what we think the figure is going to be. Now naturally we can use this mathematical formula and do it by paper and pen, though if you've got a large portfolio with quite a few stocks you may want to utilise a tool like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Now, let's not waste any time and we'll jump straight into how to work it out. So what we need for working this out is two particular bits of information. The first one is the yield on cost of the dividend company we're looking at. Now, this is similar to working out the dividend yield of a company, except rather than taking the current price of the company, we will be using the average share price that we've got across our purchases. So we would just plug that in along with the dividend price to get our yield on cost for the dividend. Then we can move over to the second piece of information, which is the percentage that the company takes up within the portfolio. Now, this can sometimes be exported from your broker or a similar system, or if you track all of your buys and sales on a spreadsheet within Google Sheets or Microsoft, for example, you would be able to potentially export this out as a pivot as I have here. Though you can also just go through and manually work it out, and I would suggest working it out by the percentage they take up within value, once you've got this information, it's quite easy to proceed. All you do is you take the dividend yield of the company, times it by the weighting of the portfolio, so the section of the portfolio that that company takes up. This will give you a value that you then express as a percentage. And if you go through and do this to every single company in the portfolio, add them all together, you should come to the total dividend yield of your portfolio. Now, this is all good in theory, but it is good to also look at an example. So we'll be using my dividend portfolio tracker that I use and working out the current dividend yield of my portfolio. So while the spreadsheet loads up, I would like to just take the opportunity to ask you if you did like this video or you've enjoyed any of the content so far, do remember to like and share the video if possible. It really does help me out and I do greatly appreciate it. Now, jumping over to the Excel spreadsheet, we can see that I have a list of all of the companies in my portfolio, as well as the number of shares that are, I hold of that particular company and also the percentage that it takes up in that area. On top of that, I've also got the yield on cost or the average yield on cost for each of the companies and the beta because this can also be used with other metrics besides just the dividend yield. So all I do is on Excel, I take that information, I add the additional columns to work out the overall percentage of the portfolio and I enter the formula, which in this case and in this example is C4 times E4 which is just taking the yield or the dividend yield of the company and timesing it by the percentage or how much I hold within the company. That then gives me an overall value and all I do is I drag it all the way down through the Excel spreadsheet to come to a total outcome. And we can see that my current dividend yield is sitting at around 4.6% and I have a current beta of around 1.06, showing that my portfolio is slightly more active than the average market. Now that's nice and easy, that was it done, it's broken down, it's not particularly complicated, but it can be quite a useful thing to use if you're looking at a portfolio or you're trying to assess your particular portfolio. If you do have any questions, obviously do let me know down in the comments below and let me know what your dividend yield is on your portfolio or your average beta, for example. Just let me know down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, you may enjoy one of the videos within this playlist which is essentially breaking down different ways of analysing companies, portfolios and things like that. And until next time, remember to invest, save and subscribe.